The Philippines is at a crucial stage of military modernization, and one of the biggest defense decisions facing the government is the choice of a new multirole fighter jet that will serve as the backbone of the Philippine Air Force for decades to come. For years, the Air Force has relied on trainer jets like the F-A-50, which has limited capabilities in comparison to modern fighters, but regional security challenges, particularly in the West Philippine Sea, have made it necessary to acquire advanced combat aircraft. The two main contenders are the American-made F-16 Fighting Falcon and the Swedish sub just at Lumputsham na Gripen. Both aircraft are capable, battle-tested platforms, but each carries different strengths, weaknesses, costs, and political implications. The F-16, produced by Lockheed Martin, has a long history of combat success and is one of the most widely used fighter jets in the world, operated by over two dozen nations. It is well known for its versatility, powerful radar systems, and compatibility with a wide range of modern weapons, giving the Philippines immediate access to a large global support network. Choosing the F-16 would also deepen military ties with the United States, a long-standing ally that continues to play a critical role in maintaining regional balance of power. However, critics point out that the F-16 has higher acquisition and operational costs, and sustaining such a fleet might put long-term financial strain on the Philippines' defense budget. On the other hand, the sub Gripen offers a different kind of value. Designed for cost-effectiveness and ease of maintenance, the Gripen is particularly suited for smaller air forces with limited resources. Its ability to operate from short runways and even improvised airstrips provides flexibility for the Philippines, an archipelago with scattered bases and vulnerable infrastructure. The Gripen is also known for quick turnaround times, meaning it can be refueled, rear-med, and launched again in a fraction of the time compared to many other fighters. In addition, Sweden has reportedly offered attractive financing options and technology sharing opportunities, which could reduce the overall burden on the Philippine economy while still delivering a modern and capable fleet. The debate, however, goes beyond technical features. For Manila, the choice between the F-16 and Gripen also represents a geopolitical signal. Opting for the F-16 would be seen as reaffirming the Philippines' reliance on U.S. military support, strengthening deterrence against potential adversaries and ensuring access to American defense infrastructure. Meanwhile, choosing the Gripen would highlight a more independent path, securing advanced capabilities without being fully tied to U.S. policies, while still maintaining strong ties with Western defense partners. Analysts argue that the Philippines must weigh not only the purchase price but also life cycle costs, logistics, training requirements, and long-term sustainability. Another factor is interoperability with allies. With U.S. and regional partners like Taiwan and South Korea already operating F-16s, Integration in joint exercises and operations would be smoother if the Philippines also chooses the same platform. Yet, the affordability, operational flexibility, and favorable acquisition terms of the Gripen may better suit the Philippine defense budget and infrastructure. Ultimately, the decision between the F-16 and Gripen is not simply about choosing a fighter jet, it is about defining the future direction of Philippine air power, how the nation intends to protect its skies, and the type of partnerships it wants to rely on in the years ahead. Whatever the choice, it will shape the defense posture of the Philippines for decades, marking a historic step in its quest to secure sovereignty and safeguard national interests in an increasingly contested region.